uh, 9702 February March 2020 paper 1 variant 2 and the topic is work energy and power question number 60 an escalator is 60 meter long and lifts passenger to a vertical height of 30 meter as shown so here is the lift the used to lift uh, do lift the passenger uh, to a height of 30 meter right and the, the length of the lift the escalator is 60 meter to drive the escalator against the force of friction when there are no passenger required the power of 20 kw so 20 kw is the least power needed even there is no passenger the engine power needed as the power of engine power needed 2 kw to work against the friction so and the next see the next point the escalator is used to uh, used by the passenger of a uh, mass 60 kg in average and the power to overcome the friction remains constant so the friction is remain constant whether they have uh, any any passengers of uh, average weight of 60 kg the friction is constant so whatever the number of passenger is the power needed to lift the passenger plus the power to work against the friction the sum of these power will be the driving power of the accelerator so that means the driving power is equals to the power needed to lift the passenger plus the power needed to work against the friction right td equals pi plus v this is the first catch this is the first catch right now how much power is required to drive the escalator when it is carrying 20 passengers and it is traveling at the speed of 0.75 meter another catch the speed is constant which is 0.75 meter per second right so 0.75 meter per second is the is the uh, speed right so first thing first we need to find out the 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 power required to lift the passenger right then we add with the power required to work against the friction right so we will add we will get the driving power right on the whole right so first thing first we know the we find in order to find out the power lift to the power required to lift the passenger is passengers is p equals e upon t right so e e is what m g and h so m is the total mass total mass means 20 passenger and each passenger is having 20, 60 kg mass is 60 into 20 and the height is 30 so 60 times 20 uh, uh, we times 9.8 which is g and times 30 will be the energy then how to calculate the time we know the distance is 60 meter we know the speed is the is constant so speed equals distance upon time then time equals speed uh, distance upon speed so speed distance is 60 and speed is 0.75 so time will be 80 second so we will find out uh, now we found out the time so 60 into 20 into 9.8 into 30 divided by 80 we will get the power required to lift the passengers 4410 so 4410 is what is the power required to lift the passengers and the power required to work against the friction 2000 so we will add that 2000 plus 4410 this is 64610 in kilowatt is 6.4 so how much power is required to drive the escalator when it is carrying 20 passengers and is traveling at 0.75 meter per second is 6.4 kilowatt remember the catch is the catch is if if uh, we need to add the frictional power right the for the power required against the friction and the catch is we need to find the time there are another ways for doing this question but this is the simplest and the smallest uh, and uh, the smartest solution